Hey guys, welcome to part two of chapter two of Railway Empire. So, in the first part, we, you know, I tried to get it to thirty minutes, but wasn't quite successful. Um, it uh, took about forty-five minutes or so. So, hopefully, this will take somewhere in that region as well. We only have about four tasks left to complete this chapter, so it should be. Pretty seamless, I would think. Um, unfortunately, the the you know the making the money to get your company company to a value of twenty million, which I think is one of the goals, is you know you know it's kind of a slow process. Uh, but we'll try to expand as much as we can um, to accomplish that goal as quickly as we can, right? So, so I've I saved the chapter after uh, I saved the spot where we. Uh, ended last time, so I'm just going to run it from there. Um, so, so here we go. So load, and I think I said chapter two YT, right? So, and we'll just load it from here. All right. I think we left it where we connected the Buffalo Syracuse lines. So you can see Syracuse now has an industry demand. So we can, uh, we have enough money to actually get our own industry, which is a good thing because we can get exactly what we want here, right? So um, before we do that, though, I'm going to expand this line. Um, yeah, let's get this line expanded before we put that in because it might not let us, let us do it afterwards if we need that line. So we'll do a, because there's a cotton plant right over here, we can just do a, uh, a weaving factory, right? That'll get cotton over to uh, Buffalo and it'll help it grow even more, right? So let's see what we have. We have an engineer and a stoker, so we can just auto assign them. Uh, we have a professor. Professor basically uh, uses innovation points and I think gives you money, right? So... I believe, yeah, I think it's it's it takes away 130 innovation points and gives you money, but we don't really need the money right now. You know, innovation points are way more important for us. So let's just skip that. Um, and then what we can do is go here. See, we have a second line here, so we can just use that for the cotton, I think, right? So we can just run a small train station. This is tricky because it requires, it has a lot of slope, this area, but we'll try. See, this is doing a lot of, it's already doing a bridge, even for that short distance. Um, all right, 3% is not too bad, so I think we can do that. All right, so let's just do that. Man, they keep stealing all our technology. It's ridiculous. This uh, Trainiac mode is... is obviously the most difficult so they do a lot of that stuff so freight only uh, we'll do full cars Syracuse and we'll do two loads I think um, coming downhill we can do that it's fine then we can do two of these and that gives a pretty gr good growth here we can also send them corn but I think they're getting corn over land so I don't think that's necessary uh, yeah, uh, maybe not. Okay, so we can run corn from here. I think that will also, it will give us money, right? Trains are money for us, so. Uh, so let's do it like. Uh, okay, and then we can expand. Expand this station. Oops. Expand the station. Um So we can just run it into sec the second one because I don't think we'll run anything to Albany from here. We don't probably need to. All right, so we'll double track that. And uh, did we go to the right track? Yes, we did. Okay. 
All right, so just run it like that, like that. Set up a train line, freight only. From here to here, okay. And then we'll do John Hancock. I think that's it. We'll run a security guard, that way we get extra money. We can also run an engineer, we have a free one. And then we can double it up. Okay, so we have another industry demand here. So because we have cloth here, if we put an industry that, uh, too late, we just got scooped. See, that's a waste, useless industry. It makes really no sense for that to be there, but nevertheless. Um, okay, so looks like our trains are howling. So there's another bonus to connect this to uh, Washington to our network, you know, we can do that and then we can run grain here to get that to get that filled we can also connect this to uh, Baltimore to get extra money that might not be such a bad idea you know what let's do that let's expand this it's going to be a long line but that's okay right so we can put a train station here Uh, it's going to be a, a fairly expensive line as well because it is going to have a lot of bridges and stuff. But um, yeah, fifty-seven thousand. Uh, where are we going? Okay, so we're going to bypass Washington, right? So like that, and then we'll connect to this second line here. And it's going to ask for a bridge, but we'll skip that. Uh, Nine percent. 5%, 307,000, that's a lot. Uh, 277, yeah, 298, uh, 247, ooh, I like that, that's nice. Ooh, yeah, there we go. And what we can do is run a line from here to here, because we are supplying beer to this one uh, I'm sorry meat to this one I think it will be a good line for us right signals okay we got a, a bonus for connection and what we can do is run a line from here to here it is a means of and we'll do automatic not only because it is profitable, no, we'll do a fast train. Because it opens up people's eyes to the world. Okay, and then we'll do, and then we'll do another couple of lines from here to here. Automatic from here to here, and we'll do a couple of John Bulls here as well. Okay, now we might need an extra line, train here. Uh, okay, now we need to supply grain to Norfolk. Right, so let's do it like this. And there's a grain farm right outside, so we can just connect that up. Quick short line, but it's going to be lucrative. Congratulations, you're doing some excellent work. Now I think this accomplished two things for us okay so I'll show you what what I mean in a minute all right so let's set up a rail line from here freight only and then go to here we take the security guard uh, put it on a John Hancock and then connect the security guard here and then we'll do two such lines right I think we can do Okay, we'll do, actually we'll do three. All right, now there's a lot of trains complaining. All right, it's time to replace some engines. So we'll do, let's see if, how much it would cost to replace all the grasshoppers with Hancocks. I think it's 504, it but it's worth it. Broke. Just this once, I'll help you out with some cash. All right, we'll thank you. Next time. That's awesome because we just got an infusion of cash because we ran out, that's that's fantastic. But, um, so 1840, we're at 1832, plenty of time. 
we need to buy 20% shares in the competitor, we should be able to do that right now because we have that infusion, right? We are, they're only at 3 million apiece. They're only 5% into Beatrice, so I think, and they're close enough. It's only 100,000 apart, so we can buy the other 15,000 and accomplish, 15% and accomplish if you own that goal right there. You can merge with them and incorporate their roots and buildings with yours. Your competitor will then be out of business for good. Well done. You now okay. possess your first block of shares and competitor. So as I was saying, the connecting the um, Norfolk to, to the grain, uh, and what else did we do? Oh, yeah, we connected corn to here and this to here. By doing that, we also accomplished the 10 rural business connection because we needed to do that as well. And our company's value is growing nicely, right? We're at 1845. We should be plenty of time to, uh, to get this task accomplished. But we're not going to stop, right? We're going to start keep expanding um, where it makes sense to see what we can do, right? So this one has meat and it has cloth. You can see there's, there's cotton here and then there's meat here. So obviously it makes sense for us to deliver these goods and get paid for it, right? So we'll do a large train station, which is the same as building a small train station and expanding. So let's do it like that. Uh, we'll take the connection in the back and go to this we'll do a troll small train station here connect it up like that and hook up this right might as, as well get paid for transporting stuff and um, and the good thing is we have see we have a connection to totally uh, Pittsburgh which also has cotton but we don't need to worry because we are only doing passenger mail lines here, right? So that's that's going to be a good thing. Now, this thing is barking for operating supply, so I'm going to put a supply tower here because we now have the money to do it. Um, and that will take care of those problems. So we'll just signal this up. I think now we can afford to add uh, supply towers everywhere. So we'll just do it here. And then we can run a couple of train freight lines to here to here we'll do it with John Hancock's security guard nice stoker when I tell people about mm. my oh wow the way, there's a lot of stokers okay good see the problems laying the tracks and then so that's two costs as if a oh look at that coaches were cheaper transportation fee eight percent bump there we go let's do that raw materials are supposed to be transported by horses so they'll try to outbid you once or twice but that's okay you, if you have the money you can just go ahead and outbid them again and this will give us more even more money now so reliability let's do that we can also do power and power here but let's do so this is montgomery we don't, we're not even in that area so there's no point let's increase the reliability uh we don't need that and we have two stokers we can just auto assign now uh, I set up two trains here now we need to supply also uh, cattle so let's do a small train station here at the cattle farm so you know what I'm gonna run it oh there's another one right here we can just piggyback off of that line that's beautiful okay I didn't even see that okay Perfect. So I'm going to run from here. We can. Do, we don't have to spend money on the track, and uh, we can use this supply tower too. So that's twice the bonus, right? So, and we get paid for hauling something that a city needs. So signal. Sig uh, let's do the signaling. There we go. Okay. Let's do a couple of trains, freight lines, shift. From here to here, uh, John Hancock, conduct. We don't need a conductor here, we just need an engineer. Um, and we'll do let's do uh, this is uh, two should be good, I think. Yeah, but and you can see Toledo is already growing, right? As soon as you meet their demand, they grow, which is nice. And th when they grow, they give you more passengers, which we can use on our passenger line right here. So I think we are in good shape. 
So uh, let's put supply towers wherever we can. I think, whoa, look at all that fog. Okay, there we go. We can do it on the New York. We can do it a couple on the New York line, actually. Uh, right there and right there. Uh, okay, this line absolutely needs it. So let's do a couple here. Now, um, so the New York line, city to city lines, let's upgrade those engines. So we'll do the John Hancock for them. No, uh, let's do the John Bull for them. I think that's faster, right? Tractor power 20. Yeah, definitely. John Bull replace. Let's do it on the cities only lines. And up that way we should have upgraded New York and uh, John Hancock. See that? That speeds it up because you connect when you connect cities, you want faster trains, right? And does it also upgrade these lines, which is fantastic. Oh, this is a John Bull. Why is it? A, oh, no. Did we do a John Bull? Yes, we did a John Bull. Yes. And how come this didn't do a, um, a John Bull? John Bull. John Bull. Okay. Yeah, I just mistaken. This might be a John Hancock, but that's okay. Okay, so we have conductor, stoker, security guard. So we can put the security guard, conductor, and stoker. Okay. So we don't want, I'll show you how to manually assign them. So on a city, on a passenger mail line, you want to have the conductor, right? That gives you the most bang for the buck. You can also have a stoker on this line. And on a freight line, you want to have the, uh, security guard probably the most bang for the buck there okay so you can see nicely uh, Toledo is growing nicely uh, Pittsburgh is not but we don't care we're only worried about this industry here Buffalo should be growing okay there's a bonus for an express line an express line is extremely hard to achieve here because you will never be able to uh, get enough from the locomotives to make it an express line Baltimore is still growing, which is fantastic. Um, see, this has weaving factory, which is pointless because there's really not much cotton here. So you can see there's no cotton. It needs 1.6, but there's no cotton. So I say, so there's a furniture factory here. Um, there's a wood factory here. So my guess is I think we should just buy this and put a furniture factory here. And we'll get money for, trans for hauling lumber, right? Because right now we are not hauling that lumber anywhere. Uh, there should be a surplus, right? See that? Lumber for export 13 or 14. So what we should do is uh, go to Baltimore. This, sh this should be a cheap one because there's no demand. So we should be able to buy that industry fairly easily. Then we should smash it. It's going to cost you money to do it, but it will pay off in the long run. Then we go in and put in a... We can either do a sawmill, paper mill. See, we, are, we can also do paper mill. Uh, but lumber furniture can come so I think paper mill is probably the best option because we are getting lumber directly right so we should just put a paper mill the reason being you can export paper to New York which doesn't have paper and to Washington because neither of them have paper but furniture is in New York which means furniture can come down from here on these lines so Baltimore to New York you see furniture is coming down right so it makes no sense for us to put a furniture factory here and then shut off that demand so let's put we put paper here we supply logs, which is the raw material for paper, right? So it requires logs. We have plenty of logs. So that will be fantastic, right? Now, we can also buy this meat industry. Right now, it's at 100%, so it will be expensive to buy. But if you wait till the cycle goes down right here, you will get it for a much easier, cheaper price. So I'm going to hire the conductor and the security guard, and we can put the security guard on this line right here. Uh, security guard and we can put the conductor on one of the passenger lines right here uh, I don't think all of them have it yeah this thing doesn't have a conductor so we can do that and you can see as the city grows your trains are more full going down to Pittsburgh see this is full this is full but coming back to Toledo it's not full because Pittsburgh is not has not grown nearly as much right and you know, we can grow it if you want to, but I don't know. I don't see the point. 
and our company should be growing nicely in value. It's, about, it's already at 15 million right now, and these two are only at four and a half, right? So what we can do is we can actually buy out Beatrice. So we, she's only at a four and a half million. She's, we already own 20%. So to own the rest of the shares, it's going to cost us 4.9 million. But remember, we have some bonds that we can buy, right? We already paid off the existing bonds. So we can get a million and a half here. That's over four. And then another 1.5 here. Take out enough cash to, to essentially buy out Beatrice. And then we accomplish that goal as well, right? So we can just go all the way to 100. We need to 5 million. We buy the company out. Now you can liquidate the company and get a lot of the money back, Excellent. right? You so can you can do merge. And, taken over all their roots and, buildings. and liquidate everything. You get 3.5 million back. You're losing money, but it doesn't matter. You killed the competitor. So that's good, right? So there you go. She's done. And you also accomplished a goal, right? You bought 20% of the shares. And if you look here, we bought out a competitor. So that's perfect. And we are at already 16.5 million. Why? It rose rapidly because we bought out a competitor. So, so we've jumped significantly, right? So 13.9 million. Uh, it also means that this guy also has his company's value increased. Four and a half. Well, I mean, I don't know. Can we buy him out? Oh, yeah. We can buy him out too. Let's do that. And then we'll... And then we can liquidate everything, right? So, and our company's value, we lost a little bit, but that's okay. We are the only competitor now, right? So we can take our time. We have accomplished all the goals and we have plenty of time. We have 15 years or uh, till 1845 to get this. And the good thing is there won't be any more competitors for us, right? So we can just go here, all the people that they hired, the trained personnel, are all still part of us, right? So you see this? Purchase price is 10%. Accountant, let's do this. Uh, chief engineer increases growth of innovation points by 15%. So let's hire. This one will give you cost of buildings by three, but we're not going to build any. This is probably more lucrative for us, innovation points. It's all a moot point because you're the only competitor. The only thing left is to get to 20 million right now, so it doesn't matter. This is a station master, so let's hire him. Uh, if you hi try to hire him, you'll fire him, so we don't want to do that. Uh, train personnel, you can just hire all staff and assign automatically, and that's it. We're good to go. So now it's just a matter of time, right? So we can keep upgrading, increase ticket prices for passengers. That will boost up revenue. Uh, accountant, yep, 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 okay. We have a chief. Oh, there's more, okay. Surveyor accountant. See, this guy is successful auctions. We don't need that. So it's not a big deal. We don't need him. And a surveyor will reduce the cost of tunnels by 13%. We are not never going to build tunnels. We'll build bridges, but we'll never build tunnels. So these three are useless for us. So we are close, I think. We are very, very close to getting finishing this, this level. So we can speed up. I mean, we can expand some more if we want to. But I don't know if there's any point to it, right? So, I mean, we can make one quick change, can we? I don't see grain anywhere near. Uh, there is grain here, so I guess we can run it to Washington. So, uh, see, the problem is if you do that, you'll kill this demand. So, I mean, uh, sure, this is at 100%, so it's going to be expensive. This is trending towards 100 right now, so it's going to be expensive to buy this. Although we can easily afford it. The, a quick way to increase value is to buy a business, right? But if you buy low, when it spikes up, your value shoots up. So you, I don't know if it's such a good thing to buy it right now. We already own paper mills. Meat industry, you can buy that. Or you can buy the tailors. Again, this was trending down a, f a couple of months ago, so we should have bought it then. But um, Oh, you know what we can do? We can run logs to New York, right? Now that we have the train station empty, uh, we can do that and increase the value a little bit. So um, let's do that. Run a couple more trains. Number of trains, more trains equals more value. So, so because it's more revenue, right? So, uh, right. What happened here? 
Uh, did I mess up? Okay, yes, I did. There we go. Uh, signals. Okay, let's do some trains from freight only from here to here. Uh, let's do a, we don't care, we can do, oh, we have Dunhams now too. Eh, we'll do the Jervis, we're rich. Haha. <laughs> All right, so we are supplying a demand, right? So that's good because it's always going to need this. We can also run from uh, to Albany, but eh, I don't know. This is a beer line. This is a beer line. There's no sense in running a line from here to here. Um, we could another thing we could do is run to Albany, a uh, grain to Albany. That's that's a demand that can that we can meet. Oh, you know what else? We can run grain to Baltimore because it needs grain as well. So that's not such a bad thing, uh, right? Operating supplies. Did we not put a supply tower here? I thought we did. Fine, here we go. We can take that. All right, we can run that and quickly. Let's see how much we are at. 16.5. Okay, let's run another, uh, another line here. This is going to be a long line, so it's going to be expensive. But that's okay. You can afford it. Uh, let's run it along here. All uh, right, let's do that and do that. Uh, we can do a small train station. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so there's a tunnel. We don't need a tunnel. 10%, 14%. Whoops. Aha, that's why it put a tunnel there. Wow, okay. So I think we should run it from down here. All right, so let's do this. Let's do that, 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 that. What I'm doing is Xing out them. If you hit shift and you mouse over, you'll see the X. That removes the anchor point. So let's do... For my friends on the East Coast, the Great Lakes are a long way away. And many of them never want to go there. This is because they have only just arrived in the new world. But think okay, about so the children. They won't want to spend their entire lives on the East Coast when a vast land of unimaginable possibilities lies before them. Uh, we are then at the end. The 12% slope really is not the best option, but it's okay because what I'll do is I'll put a really powerful engine on there. What? Well, at least the most powerful one we have. So, and uh, we, that should take care of that. So, all right. So we are really close to finishing. So, set up a rail line, freight only from here. Whoa, what did I do? Uh, Collins Estate. Okay, so I'll do eight from there to there, freight only. Did I fill it up? Yes, I did. Add a locomotive. So, let's see, 35. Let's do this. It's the fastest one we have. So, conductor, uh, transportation of mail, so that's useless, right? So we won't do that, but um, let's do three trains. That's good. And we can run a passenger line from New York to Albany if we want, or even a beer line, right? Because New York always needs beer, so let's do that. So we can bump up this station and then run a line from here uh, into It's a 20% slope, 6, 5, there we go. And we'll just run it into New York. Oh, because this is not connected. Ah, should have done. Okay, so what I can do then is, what we can do is we can cheat the system a little bit, right? So what we can do is take this line, connect it here temporarily, put the train station here, so basically what happened is if you have one train station in the city and it's not connected to your network, because this is an isolated line, right? It's not connected to our network. So it won't allow you to put a second station in. So you can cheat the system by putting a, connecting the track to the existing train, and then you can go ahead and you know, delete part of the track and then uh, connect that back, right? That'll take care of your problem right there. And then we'll connect the double track back Uh, 
uh, then we'll put a signal we might not even get there actually I think it'll be done by then but and back we'll run a automatic line from New York to Albany uh, go go Jervis conductor sure security guard sure even though it's not freight copy train uh, we'll run two more trains from Albany Albany to New York automatic Jervis conductor sure and then fine we there's no competitor so we'll win the auction anyway all right there we go that should take care of it yeah we are at 18.9 million so we should be imminent victory is imminent so all right let's st I mean, again no sense but let's just do supply towers and take care of these stupid uh, uh, the yell uh, this is thing is yelling at us so All right, I'm gonna put there. There's one there. Uh, there's one there. Uh, we need one here. We got plenty of money to do this now. Uh, this one has it. Buffalo has it. Okay, this one does not. We should be good there. Okay, this one needs it, and this one needs it. Okay, we have this, and then we need one here, and one here. Yeah, I mean, we can put maintenance buildings, but it's not needed. All right, train maintenance, we don't need this. What do we have here? Number of new applicants, nah, we're too close. 19.5 million, guys. So we are, we should be there. And we are at 32 minutes for the episode, which is good. I think I timed it, I broke the episode into two halves uh, pretty well I think the first one was about 45 minutes I think so we should be good I mean these trains are breaking down and like I said we can replace them if we want to uh, Jervis if you replace them all it'll cost you three million eh, it's not worth it if you're at 19.9 million I think we'll be good we'll be good there we go there we go Since you have connected the Great Lakes and cities such as Toledo, the United States have grown a little bit closer together again. There we go, guys. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure we, we got the President's Medal. Uh, we got a bonus and we got all the golden check marks. So I think we should be good there. So let's take a look. All right, President's Medal. There we go. We got a bonus rating um, for the map. So the more tasks you complete, uh, so that time rating we, we got, map rating was good. Difficulty rating was, it's not a particularly difficult mission. But pause mode, we went to Trainiac mode, that gives us a bonus, right? So we pretty much maxed out. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, this is part two. 
uh, this I'm sorry this is chapter part two of chapter two I think we've completed it so the next video will be about uh, hopefully part one of chapter three uh, I when I mark it I'm going to see how long it takes to play it and I'll depend and I'll figure out how many chapters to break it into or how many parts to break the chapter three into but uh, hopefully it should be no more than three uh, pro hopefully two but no more than three All right uh, again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if the recording quality is good, if I need to tweak anything in terms of the music, the background. I tried to kind of uh, do the best I could, but if I need to tweak something, I will. Uh, it's not a problem. Um, all right. So for now, thank you and uh, take care. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.